Hello everybody and welcome back. So as you can see from this title, I'm doing my every anime that I've ever watched. So there's a lot of them and I only have 15 minutes to do it, so I'm going to just jump in. So most recently I watched Sunday Without God. It's really good. It's uh, God has left the world and everybody gets one last wish and how you use that wish is how, like whatever. So if you guys want to check that one out, it's Sunday Without God. So this one is No Rin. No Rin is about, um, there is a farming school and a guy who is obsessed with this pop star, and, uh, whoops, she turns out to, like, stop, uh, singing and go to his school, so, there you go, that's what happened, and, that, well, that's a general thing without spoiling it. Okay, so, Mage, it's a, like, a three-part series, um... Kingdom of Magic, Labyrinth of Magic, and something else of magic. <laughs> really good. Labyrinth of Magic is uh, first. Kingdom of Magic is second. You know, I th actually think there's only two. But yeah, what it, what it is about is uh, the world is kind of like our world, except magic is real. So these towers have been popping up everywhere around the world, and at the top of them is a magical weapon or they're called vessels and if you get one um you're pretty much the richest man around because there's a lot of money up there too so yeah um there's the main character is alibaba saluja and his friend which is his friend you can see right there his name is um aladdin and uh, so this one is showman sample so at a fancy school where everyone is supposed to be like ladylike um they've never seen the outside world and so the principal brings in a normal kid from a random school and uh puts him in that school one guy in an all-girl school so uh, every girl has pretty much the hots for him now so he's pretty much like has a giant harem these uh five girls are the ones that uh he talks to the most so this one is High School DxD. There's devil, devils, angels, and like priests. Devils and angels are fighting, and the priests are helping the angels kind of like, but it's not really mutual. Um, they are all fighting. Kid dies. He comes back to life as a devil, and his point of view starts. Um, this one is actually a movie. It's on Netflix. Um, it's Spirit, Space Pirate Captain Harlock. The world has gone to shit. Everybody leaves the world, Earth, and goes to like the other neighboring planets. And then they come back for a homecoming thing, and it turns into a war. Earth goes to shit again, and a guy tries to reset the time, and shit goes down. So, this one, I haven't seen the last episode, so I can't even spoil it if, even if I tried. But, uh, there's two people that are amazing at gaming. And a god from another world comes by and says, pretty much, hey, my uh, entire world is settled by gaming. And he just drops them in the world. They've never lost a game, by the way. Um, so this one is, I haven't seen the second season, which is uh, Guilty. As you can see from the bottom, this is the thing for the second season. So what this is about is um, vampires are real. Vampire saves the girl in the front, which, um, then she becomes indebted to the vampire, and he, she has the hots for him. Um, the vampire is the brown hair guy, as you can see, not the white hair. Um, so the white hair guy is a vampire hunter hunting down vampires, but he goes to a school with vampires in it. Most of the public doesn't know they're vampires, so yeah. Um... The familiar of Zero, there's like a parallel world to Earth, far, far away, and except there is magic. And where there is magic, there's that one person who can't cast a magic, and which is that pink-haired girl in front. So, it's like a test day, and she has to like summon a familiar, which is going to be a lifelong companion, and she summons a guy from Earth. And so that that's what pretty much happens without spoiling. So, Seven Deadly Sins is... Uh, 
a Netflix original series, as you can see from the top left corner, Netflix. So, Netflix original series, uh, Seven Deadly Sins. If you've ever heard of the stories about the Seven Deadly Sins, seven people do these seven great acts of sins, and they can never say, I'm sorry for it, to God, so they're cursed to go to hell no matter what. Some people get amazing powers, other get become in, like invincible, and cannot die. Yeah, so this one doesn't have the title on it, but it is um, Grimgore of Fantasy and Ash, by far my favorite. Um, it's still coming out of today. There's only two more episodes to be dubbed. So what this is about, it's um, kind of like a gaming world, except uh, people are randomly taken from Earth and like put into this world, and they have they have to fight goblins and other things to get money so they can live. And that's pretty much what this is about. And really good. I rate this 5, so guys, go check it out. So, Tokyo Ghoul, I'm not even going to say shit about this. Um, it's just really badass. 10 out of 5 stars. Amazing. Perfect. This is my favorite. This is my second favorite, okay? And then Sword Online is my third. So, check that one out. I'm not going to say anything about it. Just that you guys have to watch it. It's full of action. Not really much love and stuff like that. I've never really finished this one, but, uh, he'll sing. Um, there's a vampire who hunts down other evil vampires, and he recruits a girl, and then they, like, train together and shit like that. That's as much as I can say about that. Log Horizon. Log Horizon is, uh, there's a new DLC for this game called Log Horizon, and, um, uh, so people are on, like, just bought that DLC and started playing that day, and the DLC transports them into the game, and they can never come back, back out so far. And, uh, they have to, like, there's just actually no point in it. They just have to live in there. You cannot die, so there's no way out. Log Horizon, guys. I'd maybe rate this three and a half stars out of five. Attack on Titan. So, these huge things called Titans appear on Earth, and people have to fight them. So, everyone builds a wall around, like, a giant city, and to keep the Titans out, Titans get in, shit goes down. Parasite. Okay, so there's an alien that... I'm guessing it's an alien. There's no other way. It never specifically says alien or not. But an alien falls to Earth. Many aliens fall to Earth. And they have to, like, take over a guy... A human's brain. And they become, like, pretty much... The owner of that person. Because they eat the brain and live... And control the body and distort it however they see fit. So, the main character is the guy with the glasses. And, uh... There's an alien that tries to go in his ear, but he has he's listening to music when he's asleep. Then it tries to go up his nose, and he sneezes, and then it, like, gets shot back out. And then it tries to burrow into his hand, so he, like, squeezes his arm with the earbuds and, like, keeps the alien in his arm. And then it takes over his arm instead, so they coexist. So, Death Note, I haven't really finished this one. I couldn't really get into it. It's really slow. It's If you like that kind of like strategy stuff where you have to be smarter than the other person, this is the one to go. There's a lot of gore and violence and shit like that. I guess it's pretty good. I rate it 3 out of 5. So, this one is uh, Nagi Alulu of the Sea. Pretty much like that. I'm not quite sure exactly how to say it. Um, But, yeah, the Japanese title is on top and... English titles on the bottom. So what this is about, it's, uh, there's ocean people and land people. Um, the ocean god gets pissed off at the land people and tries to freeze over the earth, and so the only way to keep it from happening is, uh, by having a ceremony, a sacrifice. But, um, the sacrifice never gets sacrificed, I guess. Uh, that's as much I'm gonna say before I spoil it. So n this is another Netflix original series. Um, aliens invade the Earth, and Earth goes to shit. Um, so people leave Earth, and um, this is a Mecca, by the way. If you don't like Mecca, I wouldn't recommend this. Well, I don't like Mecca, but I really like this one. But yeah, um, people leave Earth, and uh, they have to fight aliens in space. That's pretty much it. A comic I kill. I can't really tell you much about this. I haven't finished it. I got like halfway through and then I like found another series and I was like, hey, that one's a lot better. But this one was really good. I can't I can't tell you guys exactly what it's about, but I can tell you guys there is a lot of blood and 
death, as you can see from the uh, from the screen. So this is one is Devil is a part timer. Um, there's another world where devils and angels exist and regular people. So the devil is terrorizing everyone. Angels come by to take him out of power, but he escapes to Earth. And at Earth, he loses like 99% of his power, and he can only get power by people suffering. But he turns into like pretty much a good guy, and he works at a McDonald's. That's pretty much it, guys. And then like there's an angel that goes after him. So this one is your line in April. It's just pretty much a typical school anime that ends terribly. Um, I cried my ass out. Um, there's a lot of music in it, like piano and violin. That's it. Because the guy in the glasses and the white hair or blonde haired girl, they become best friends and they're both the girl is violinist, he's a pianist. Shit goes down. So Batum. There's a game um called Batum. The he the main character plays it and uh where you just throw like a bomb at other people, blow them up, and as soon as you get kill eight people then the game is over. So that's incorporated to real life, so like a get the gaming company steals people away and puts them on an island with bombs, and you have to kill eight people to live. Aji, um, Aji is another Netflix original series, so that it is on Netflix. Um, the graphics aren't the best, but it's more like realistic graphics. So what happens is, um, there's like black spirits that take over people, but without the people knowing. At least that's what I think from what I watched. So, yeah, black spirits take over people. They become immortal and cannot die no matter what. They they regenerate immediately as soon as they die. Um, yeah, so a guy has to run away from the scientists who want to take him in. So I just started this, so I can't even spoil this even if I wanted to. Really good black butler. Uh, guy summons demon. Demon helps kid. And becomes his butler. That's from what I understand. A cell world. A cell world, guys. This is another five star out of five star. So what happens? Um, uh, it makes a reference to Sword Online in this, guys. If you guys can catch it. But yeah, a cell world. It's about uh, a they made a fully immersive gaming, and um, they made a new game, which is hidden from most people, where you can like slow down time and stuff like that. So really good. Not gonna spoil it at all. Naruto Shippuden and Naruto. Um, really good. Long story, can't even spoil it. Um, Naruto goes through a lot of uh thing, a lot of uh hate in his life, and he becomes stronger because of that, because he has like a evil spirit inside of him. Uh can't really explain it guys too hard without like spoiling the entire plot. I probably just like spoiled the first season. In total, there's about like 500 episodes. If you've never seen this, I really suggest it if you have a lot of time. So this one is Rosario plus Vampire. Um, a guy um, fails school, so he's accepted. Her, his dad finds a letter which accepts him into a monster school. So he goes to the monster school, and he pretty much gets a harem because all these girls fall in love with him for his smell. Really good. Heaven Lost Property. <laughs> um, this one is on Netflix um, as of today, uh, from what I understand. I seen the first season. A guy pretty much gets an angel to give him wishes. Yeah, um, really good. Um, so this one doesn't have uh, uh, the title on it, but it is Norgami. Um, Norgami is where um, King, or he's not really king. He's a uh, what? What is he? Well, he's a god. God Yato. Um, he's a god of calamity, pretty much, of war. Um, he fights and stuff like that. Can't really spoil it. Sword Online, I'm going to say nothing. You've probably heard of this. So, next. Oh, wait, that's it. Well, I guess I can uh, talk about Sword Online a little bit. Um, there's fully immersive gaming. People get trapped in game. Um, they have to fight uh, 100 floors. Um, yeah, and then the girl gets captured, guy goes after her, shit goes down, people die. <sighs> really good, guys. I would rate this 20 stars out of 10. I love this one. 
Um, so that's pretty much every anime that I've ever, I have ever watched. So, guys, go on, check it out. And I'll see you guys next time. Thank you so much for watching. Like, comment, and subscribe for more.